very hot here in the UK at the moment and it is roastingly hot in the cave. Hope you appreciate this. So what is this miniature? Well, you might be aware that there's a website called My Mini Factory. It's a bit like Patreon, but you can uh, subscribe to a tribe. When you subscribe to them like Patreon, you get some STLs, 3D printing models each month. You don't know what you're going to get, but this is from a tribe called Cobra Mode. And they're pretty cool. They do lots of fantasy animals. They seem to be obsessed at the moment with platypus. They're quite expensive to subscribe to, but the models are really good and high quality. And I've been subscribed to them for about three months. And uh, this was completely unexpected. I hadn't realised, but there was a three months loyalty bonus. So it seems that some people, and sort of makes sense, might just join them for a while just to get this month's models for a lot cheaper. You can just buy the models as well. You don't have to be in a tribe, but the tribe is sort of value for money, but you don't know what you're going to get. Well, this is called the Budgerigar, and uh, I was just amazed this came through, and I really love it. Oh, there's some, uh, some missing there, and I didn't take off. But this is a boat. It's called the Budgerigar. So let's uh, try and put this together. I think, you know what, shall we uh, just put the music on? And just let's just build this together. Looks like these have slightly warped, so I'm going to cut these little uh, dinkets off here. Part of me wanted to be able to split this in two so you could have the ship and um, maybe a model that way so it was just on the sea and then something when it was in dry dock and a bit higher up. But uh, I think I might have to put some milliput in this pit down the centre because it's not going to uh, fit together wonderfully. In fact, I think I'm going to take these two middle ones off. So we've just got the end ones and I think then it might fit in a little bit easier, a little bit, still not going in very well, I think these are a little bit squidged in, yeah they're a little bit flattened, still the right size, let's try something, I'm not putting any pressure in these, I'm just trying to open them up so they're circular. That's a little bit better. And this middle bit is sticking out a bit now. I'm just try using a file for that. Now these guys did their own, or girls did the, their own support for this. So this isn't my slicer software that did the supports it's just the supports that they provided so where it's slightly warped that's either because i was using their slice or just because maybe it was so hot and it was warping a little bit on the print bed i don't know that's better that fits together a little bit better now milliput required but that's fine all right, so hopefully that's not ruined the connection below, below as well. I don't know whether to just try and glue that together like that. It's not too strong, is it? I would like to be able to split this apart if possible. That fits on there okay. And 
that should fit on there again there I've been a little bit of a problem line in there but if this all lines up yeah just about I think I need to uh, clean some of this off as well Trying to use IPA a little bit to keep the dust down as well because resin dust isn't very good for you. I don't have a mask. Sorry craftsman, it's too hot for a mask today. I don't really want to use too much mechanical power on this but I've got one of these off a little uh, Dremel set and just use them by hand probably it would be better if I plugged it in but it'll just get rid of any supports that have gone inside that hole it feels a bit rough in there so I think it's working So the uh, this is at the front for the uh, ship's boy to lean out of and watch. So let's uh, put some super glue here. A bit around the outside as well. Leave that for the moment and then do this one. Hope this will all connect nicely. And then this is out the front and I think this it looks like this also connects to that there which will be useful because that will hold the uh, I mean I'll get the right position for the mast and it will hold that in place as well beautiful ship right okay so there's a few other bits that I've got to put on I'll put some of the other things on after I've painted it I think now I don't know whether I'm gonna paint this on video I think this is a long enough video as it stands now so uh, 
Uh, you get an idea of what this ship is. It's lovely, isn't it? It's the... Uh, let me just get its full name. Sorry, the Budrigar. It's a Boondaburra pirate ship by Cobra Mode. I notice a little duck, a little uh, duck at the front, which goes with other Cobra Mode stuff. They do like their duck bill. They do like their duck bill, like even on this, the uh, Platyphant. Lovely model as well. So that's how you assemble this basically. These other bits are more likely to break off at uh, inner tube, in upper tube moments. Looks like uh, these little things uh, are for the cannons, so you can have the cannons open or closed as well. Little ruddery thing that goes on the back there. We've got the actual ship's wheel. Uh, where's that go? Yeah, so the ship's wheel needs to go there as well. I'll uh, glue that on in a minute. And uh, I think maybe I'll need to uh, create a stand for this. If nothing else while I'm painting it, but definitely for a display, I think. Uh, maybe two little bits of wooden things. Maybe how you'd mount an Airfix model ship. So I'll complete this, do a few beauty shots of it as is. Then I will paint it at a later time. Don't forget to like and subscribe please, it really helps the channel, uh, especially comments. Tell me how much you hated it, tell me how much you like this, tell me whether you'd like to see some more things on it, because that uh, helps more people see these videos. But anyway, thanks for your time today, bye!